brothers and sisters, this lets your energy, brother Whistle, what's going on, guys? Um, okay, you know, we was talking about, we've been talking about the frequencies rising and, you know, everything that's happening, you know, this last video, I, you know, that, I, that, that we made, I guess this is Orc being who, this inorganic being who said that, you know, it's, this is all about antimatter, you know, and, you know, see what you want to do with that. And, um, I responded, I said, well, of course, you know, the carbon-based beings, that's perfect for the carbon-based beings. Okay. You're dealing with antimatter. You're dealing with, um, the opposite of matter. All right. So, when you're dealing with antimatter, you're dealing with what they call uh, positrons. All right. Now, antimatter is mostly known from photon energy that comes from the sun. Photon energy comes from comes directly from the sun. Also, photon energy comes from the moon. The moon gives off uh, massive amounts of photon energy, just, just as the sun. You know, because uh, photon energy is a direct um, um, okay I lost my train of thought there um, photon energy <laughs> is a direct basis of uh, plasma energy All right, when you deal with plasma energy you're going to be dealing with photon energy okay um, so when they say positrons uh, photon energy is made up mostly of protons and these protons are positive um, atoms but you must understand that for every positive atom you have what you call a negative atom so you have the negative side of protons all right you have a negative side of protons um, that is coming from the photon energy which creates the antimatter okay um just like for instance you have uh electrons and there's electrons inside of photons oh inside of photon energy and electrons are negatively charged um atoms or negatively charged ions and um what comes from the negatively charged ions also positively charged ion, which means that that is antimatter. Okay, now you're dealing with antimatter, you're dealing with quantum, all right? And you know, a quantum, you know, uh, let's say the quantum is the, the uh, relevant force that's inside the, the uh, protons or the photon energy is, is, is a quantum, which is a small, a very small size of energy that um, that helps to create that photon. All right, so you're dealing with antimatter, you're dealing with pure quantum energy, okay? And this is something that um, we as the original beings of this world, we depend on quantum energy. You know, we depend on this quantum force. <sighs> Excuse me there. <laughs> Up early, I gotta go run by the mother-in-law's house. Look at something for them. <laughs> um, so um, we as the original beings, our bodies are perfect under the field of quantum energy, all right? So our bodies are designed to take every type of energy as well as antimatter. The antimatter is what really takes us into that, what you call God state. The antimatter is also known as the God particle, okay? and Hence, this time of calendar year where our sun is the highest and our sun is pouring out the most amount of photon energy than what they call summertime. You got to understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, that um, there is a peaking point, all right, which is why these inorganic beings created these calendars so that they can monitor the energy of our sun as well as our moon. All right, so our moon gives off these massive amounts of photon energies just as well as our sun. And this photon energy 
what comes what is the byproduct of photon energy antimatter okay antimatter is the byproduct of photon energy which um, comes is directly through plasma energy and this is something that's extremely important for us to uh, take in all right so like we said hey this time of this time of calendar year they cover in the sky because they do not want this pure photon energy to enter our vessels all right especially we who are in the northern part of our planet all right we who are in the northern part of our planet we are we're closer to the sun than those who are in the southern part of our planet just like we said before um our planet has several suns all right but um something for you all to uh ponder on the antimatter which is something that our body needs and um can we create photon light while the sun is being covered up well, of course we can we just got to dig deep down into physics and figure out what to do we got to create the cells we got to create the the, the the right type of of, of energy we got to go back and go deep 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 within us you know go a gazillion trillion billion years within us to find that energy to find that knowledge and then we can create instead of a sun simulator on the planet like these inorganic beings are created we can create an actual sun we can create an actual sun on the planet and we can make it go beneath the sky all right so something for you all to think about something for you all to ponder on okay um because it's important that you um gain this knowledge you know but antimatter is just the opposite of matter the opposite of the the energy that that's within um the the the, the matter of our uh atmosphere and also the antimatter plays a role with the trees grass water wind all right our planet is designed to to um to take in all of this this energy as well as our bodies are designed to take in all this energy this antimatter this you know the photons and 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 the um the the plasma energy i mean uh, this is this is something that that we um must uh take in consideration brothers and sisters. so just wanted to drop this little message here to you all about antimatter and about the energy because the darkness is here the dark energy is here and it's building by the um is building by the hour literally by the hours you know i'm i walk around and i see i see the dark energy I, I look in the corner of my eyes and i see okay that's dark energy there and i see this little trinklet sometimes sometimes i see big giant uh portions of uh dark energy all right so something for you all to um Earthquake study upgraded to all right 4.8 from 4.5 so, um, location you know canary what? islands spain region going to be class your study light session. 14 minutes ago study antimatter all right let's study we want to study antimatter and we're going to dig uh uh deep down in ourselves and and you all just post on here the different things that you learn about antimatter but you know our bodies remember our bodies are designed to take in the um the energy from from the regular photon and the inverted photon okay because this is what i'm calling antimatter inverted photon energy all right because it's the opposite sides of photon because when the photon is given off the photon energy is given off protons and electrons uh you remember the proton the protons are your positive charges electrons are your negative charges um there's a negative proton and a positive electron that um, comes from this here. So something for you all to ponder on, to think about, to focus on so that you can um, help yourself to grow into a more powerful figure of energy, a more powerful figure of of. of the force that designed to be a part of your uh, current current uh, biological structure. Um, wow, that's three earthquakes that. Um, well, earthquakes. These are just plasma discharges. That's all. 
extremely high plasma discharge, which means that what's what's going on when you're dealing with plasma? What do we say? Photon energy is a byproduct of plasma energy, right? Right? Photon energy is a byproduct of plasma energy because everything on our, in our universe is plasma based. All right, everything is plasma based, and so photon energy. You talking about dark energy, plasma energy, all this, all this powerful energy. All right, and therefore that means that these uh, colossal plasma discharges are expelling extremely powerful levels of antimatter that's being um, expelled from the ground as well, because these, you know. You, you're talking about science. You're talking about energy. Everything is energy, brothers. No matter what, no matter what you are told by these inorganic beings, everything is energy. Energy is literally God. Seriously, energy is God. Everything was created by, through, from energy. All right. So energy is God. Nature is energy. All right. So, um. I pass this on to you. Um, hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's been said. All right. And uh, I got a project a little later that I'm going to uh, videotape for you guys so that you guys can have an idea of, um, you know, creation, creativity. All right. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. Much power to you all.